Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Recently, the Flames of the Nether DLC got released, which brought us some very awesome new unique weapons and armor. Today, I'll be showcasing the Weeping Vine bow, which leaves toxic trails on the battlefield. In this video, I will show you where to get it, and if you already found one, show you my tips and tricks regarding enchantments to get the best out of this new unique item for your build. So guys, let's get right to it. The Weeping Vine Bow is a pretty impressive Flames of the Nether inclusive new ranged weapon which you can get your hands on on both the Nether Waste right there and also on the Warped Forest because it's part of the Twisting Vine Bow family. The common or rare variant, the Twisting Vine Bow, will leave poison trails on the battlefield. This bow writhes within your grasp as if it's trying to wrap its tendrils around everything in its path. I think it already looks pretty cool when you use this weapon. Let's check it out for a second. So every time when you shoot with it, you will have this poison trail. And if your arrow flies very far away, well, of course, you can see that it also travels insanely far. So let's just try and shoot it all the way from here. Well, we're not going to hit our target dummy, but um, as you can see, it will travel as far as the arrow will fly. So you will be able to poison enemies from a very great distance. However, the Weeping Vine Bow also has the charged arrows after roll, so when you equip this one, it is also pretty cool because you can easily charge and shoot your arrows, having a full power shot as well as the poison trail. On my Living Vines Armor unique showcase video, I also talked about a very powerful potential build with the Sprout Armor, which I found right here. So this one has both the Poison Focus, the Multi-Roll and the Acrobat, allowing me to roll on the battlefield like a flipping ninja, shooting my arrows 24-7 with the Burst Bowstring. Well, let's say that the Weeping Vine Bow, which I used for that combo, is already gone, so I won't be able to showcase the Burst Bowstring, but guys, seriously, it is pretty impressive what you can do with all these Poison Trails. So on this bow, I'm going for a combination of Multishot, Ricochet, and also the Chain Reaction, so guys, let's see how many Poison Trails we can leave on the battlefield. For this, I'm gonna travel to the Nether Fortress, as the Red Bricks will allow you to see the Poison Trails a lot easier. All right, so here we are. Let's search for some enemies. So we have many of them right there. When we shoot our bow, guys, look at this. We will pretty much poison all the enemies in our path with a will to shot and also with the ricochet. So you can tell that this deals a lot of damage. We currently have a sea of poison around us, guys. It's pretty insane. And of course, these arrows will also bounce back to enemies. Unfortunately, though, this one has deflect. So let's restart the level. So right now I'm going to also add my Sprout Armor in the mix with some extra Poison Focus so I'll be able to deal even more damage. Guys, be noted that we're doing this on the highest Apocalypse Plus difficulty. So yes, you can definitely tell that we're dealing a lot of damage right here. So we're literally filling the room with poison right here, guys, because we don't only have the multi-shot, so you can fully cover the entire area, dealing increased bonus damage to pretty much every single target in the room. So we've got some more mobs right here. Let's use our poison trails, guys. Wow, the poison is literally getting out of hand, guys. I'm also snaring my enemies along the way when I'm rolling, which is a pretty awesome combo with the Sprout Armor. All right, so guys, there you have it. Now you know where to find it and which enchantments you should focus on when going for that ultimate build. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button for a second and subscribe for more because there is so much more Minecraft Dungeons on the channel and coming your way. Also, make sure to check out my Discord, which is in the description. Our community is growing like crazy right there, so trade items, team up with others, take part in events like giveaway contests, and so much more. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Right now, it is 4am out. I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Take care.